the small terrace streets in the Kundi area of Swansea produce no fewer than five international footballers who would represent Wales from the late 40s to the early 60s. It reflects Swansea's importance at the time as a nursery for Welsh footballing talent. The most famous of all Alice Street's footballing residents was Leeds United and Juventus megastar John Charles. At one time, if you were abroad and you needed to explain to someone where Wales was, as all you had to do was utter his name. Would you say he was the best player in the world? Well, no doubt, and uh, people say, um, what's his best position? Because John could play centre-half, but he could play centre-forward. And I said, I don't know what his best position is, but he's the best centre-half I've ever seen, and he's the best centre-forward I've ever seen, and that's John Charles. John Charles' relationship with Wales, is, it's a little bit complicated in some ways, at least in retrospect. You know, he's from Swansea, but never plays for the Swansea first team. He's a player of huge stature. You know, you go to Turin and ask people who never saw him play about John Charles, and they'll tell you what a great player he is. But there's no statue of him in, in, in Swansea. And it, I, in some ways, I think we have forgotten a little bit about how great a player he was. Now it's just going to be a brilliant first down in field by John Charles. Number five, he's going to go through the score himself. Now the seven four to Clark. It's such a shame, I think, that John Charles was around before television was commonplace, because we don't see an awful lot of him, and a lot of what we see at his later career. But there's no doubt that in his time he was considered the best footballer in the world. John was one of the original huge international stars, and he'd come into a game that was just beginning to grow. His was one of the first big moves when people followed his fortunes when he went abroad. And he earned big money as well by the stand of the time. But obviously the game from that point onwards has just got bigger and bigger and bigger. He made it in Italy when it was incredibly unusual for a British footballer to go abroad. Because most of the other players who go at that time, and there aren't many, but there are a few, don't make a success. John Charles is the only British footballer, maybe until Beckham and maybe Bale in the last 20 years, to make it. He's still regarded as one of the finest imports to Serie yeah. A, and he went there over 60 years. Exactly. So what was it about Swansea that produced a star like John Charles and a generation of players who were all considered footballing greats? A roll call that includes Trevor Ford, 